My name is Irena. I'm half French, half Polish. I was born in, in the Paris region. Uh, and I'm very lucky because my mother is an artist. She's making portraits in Paris. So I was in the art since I was a little girl. So when she was painting, I was already painting. So it was like, so I'm really very, very lucky about it. Um, but uh, my family didn't want me to become an artist. So at the beginning, yeah, I had to start to do legal studies and to, to, to translation studies because my uncle and my grandfather were lawyers. So I needed to do this first. And then my parents understood that art is stronger than me. <laughs> and I had the opportunity to go first for a European project um, to Rome. It was called Giovanni Artisti Europei. And uh, so it was in collaboration with the City of Rome and the Fine Art Academy and financed by uh, EU funds. And it was just fantastic because we had those uh, lessons in the Fine Art Academy. We met uh, artists. We had cultural visits. And then we had an exhibition at the representation of the European Commission in Rome. And it was just, just beautiful. And I loved it so much that I decided, okay, uh, legal, no, I'm not going to be a lawyer, sorry, but, uh, and so even if it was not, not easy for my parents, I decided, no, it's, it's really not my, uh, my way to, to be a lawyer. So the, um, I had next an opportunity to do my European voluntary service for the cultural center in Padova. I didn't speak so much Italian, but just a little bit. <laughs> and so I remember it was an exceptional occasion. And there was an urgency because normally for UBS, you know, you need to six months, one year and everything. And just someone resigned at the last moment. So they were looking for someone and I had like, I saw the offer on Friday and I apply on Monday and I fly away the next week. So it was just like crazy thing. And uh, it was really nice because working for the Progetto Giovanni del Comune di Padova, so I was working for the youth project of the city of Padova. So it was working in the cultural center and also in the youth center. So it was co-organizing exhibitions, uh, um, um, theater events, and it was just really, really, really fantastic. And it just changed my life. Afterwards, I decided that I need to, to stay in Italy. And I had the opportunity in Venice to do a master's degree in European projects. Then I came, I participated to another European project be between Poland and Italy. And it was an exchange project uh, visit. So visiting cultural centers in uh, Milanove, so near Warsaw and near Bologna. And that was another really, really great project. And uh, at the end, it was quite fantastic because one of the girls with whom I participated to the one of the projects, she told me that they were looking for someone in Italy to work for uh, Leonardo da Vinci project. So for, uh, you know, internships in Rimini. And then in Rimini, I went on doing the photography. I participated also to another project with the one of the professors of the Fine Art Academy, another exhibition that was also very nice. And when I was also in Italy, I was also discovered by one of the directors of the Met Photo Fest in Sicily. So he invited me to participate so with the project of Photographies of Paris about the lights. And really this project, this EVS, just changed completely my life. So, so now I do like more, um, because it's between photography and painting at the end, what I do. Because I come also from a background, I said my mom is an artist, so I can really make drawings. And I think it's, it comes really from the fact that I can paint and draw. So my photography is just another tool we can use to, to make it. And th this project was inspired by Italian um, uh, artist named Italo Calvino. They were very old books that belonged to my grandfather and they were like in very bad state. So normally we would throw them away. So a way of saving those books was transforming them into something else. So it's really this, this idea and it was in collaboration with the Book Art Museum in Wuch. And so they have like typing machines and typing letters. So you see it's, it's also for typing. And the nice story is that they saved some of the typing letters from Paris, from the um, Imprimerie Nationale, so from the National Printing House that was being closed. And so they went to Paris to save it and they bring it to Poland. So it's also a very nice uh, connection. And it's a very nice place. It's called uh, Book Art Museum. It's in Wuch. And so Wuch is really also a very nice city for art and cinema and yeah. Well, the, the other moments I would say that were important were also this one. Because, you know, sometimes when you do some works, you don't believe in yourself or you don't know what to do. And uh, so I just began publishing some pictures on Facebook. 
and I was really very lucky because um, some completely other pictures after this project I made like black and white pictures also of Paris and of lights and uh, in this case they were discovered by the director of this festival the Met Photo Festival and um, he told me that he, they're organizing an exhibition with professional photographers and the subject would be lights and uh, my photos are perfect for the projects and so he invited me and with the catalog and the exhibition and it were printed and and it was really nice because yeah he let me Vittorio he just believed in what I did and I think it's also important to have like a community of people also who can listen help and and help each other I think it's important because sometimes when you work all alone you don't see what you do you have the impression oh it's not good it's not interesting and at the end with the um, eye of someone else, you can really uh, open your eyes to it. And so that, that's the nice thing, I would say. <laughs> I came to Krakow uh, like um, many, many times when I was a child, so I know the city quite well. I, I really, really felt at home, and the multicultural aspect was also important for me because I, I knew that it was a very, very multicultural place. Uh, because you can see really, obviously it's very Italian. I think you agree with me also with, uh, because there were many Italian architects, but there was also some French elements. Um, and nowadays also Ukrainian artists, uh, people from Greece, from other countries, from Armenia, from Germany, they all like changed the face of the city. And it was through the centuries. Because when you study a little bit the history of Poland, you can really see that Poland was uh, a multicultural uh, country since the uh, Renaissance times. There really uh, were um, people coming uh, also Jews because they, they could they could find a place where to stay. Uh, people from Italy in the Renaissance time and from other countries, and nowadays Ukrainians can, can really find a place here. So that that's what I like. I think it's important to enjoy life and exchange with people. So I like the idea of being a touristy guide, so of really showing, because that's what I'm doing with the Multicultural Center and the Italian Cultural Center, being a guide and an artist. I, I think I need both, because I also need contact with people. I'm, I don't like too much like being closed in, it's in my workshop and being without contact with people. I think it's really what gives me my... Um, my passion and my, my power is really exchanging.